So today I'm going to show you how to do a tight FG9 where you don't need a rod hold or anything else to do it. So basically how we're going to do this, we're going to have the spool on with the leader between my legs so I can actually reach my mouth. I want to be able to put some tension on that. And on the braided end that can just be sitting on the bench or wherever you are. And we're just going to pull off around about 50 centimeters of braid. We're going to wrap it around our thumb and forefinger. And then we're just going to then wrap around our back two fingers because we need to lock it so that this part is now tight. What we're going to do is feed the leader up between my hand and the braid. I'm going to start off by taking the leader round the braid anti-clockwise and then the leader round the braid on the other side clockwise. So anti-clockwise round the, the closest side, clockwise round the far side. We're going to do that for 10 turns each side, which is 20 in total. While I'm doing it, I'm also stretching my fingers and thumb as tight as I can between each movement to make sure that it's tight. I might, while I was also doing it, I was pulling up on the leader, which is probably more important for very thin leaders. Um, but again, just to make sure it doesn't get trapped in the braid, these thick leaders won't, but the thin leaders may. Just going to unravel the braid now off my fingers. And because it's a tad tangled, just by using loose fingers, just run my fingers across that a few times until that separates. Just make sure you get it all separated before you continue. And then what we're going to do now is going to grab our braid, going to grab the short end. about 10 or 12 centimeters or so. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna half hitch around both the braid and the leader. And we're just gonna pull that tight up against the knot. And this is the only knot you'll ever do without wetting it because we want it to bind in. We don't actually want it to slip. <clears throat> Once we've done that, then we're going to actually pull that tight again. And then we're gonna do Two more half hitches around both the braid and the leader. Now, what I normally do is eight in total half hitches. If it's going around a thicker leader and braid like this, we'll do the next five after we've cut the leader. But if it's on 16 pound leader and less, then I do the eight hitches around both the entire way. Now cut that right off. And we're going to continue to do the half hitches. What I'm going to do is wet this, make sure it's not too dry. Just nip the half hitches, don't over tighten them. And then what we're going to do is wet the knot and test it. Tension that half hitch. I'm going to trim this to about 5mm and the knot is done. <laughs> 